Okay, so now we're on the stage of um, working out our uh, chemistry behind the galvanic uh, electroplating process. So, um, so this is all the chemistry right here. Um, and always remember safety, gloves, eye goggles, and ventilation. So that's just our, our reminder there. So now, so now when we get into the chemistry of our galvanic cell that we're using to do the electroplating, uh, we're going to ultimately uh, be using two um, uh, two uh, electrodes. The first is going to be our our iron nail right here. That's actually the alchemical symbol for iron, and uh, and our uh, copper uh, ring, and that's actually the alchemical symbol for copper. Um, and uh, the the positive pole. Is known as the anode or the sacrificial anode and the negative pole is known as the cathode and the positive pole dissolves into the liquid uh, by whatever chemistry is occurring and um, ultimately uh, through um, ionic reactions um, goes over and coats the um, the negative pole or the cathode so um so that's the process that occurs and um, for, for our solution, we're going to be using sodium chloride as the electrolyte. So an electrolyte is basically, in this case, salt and water, which is sodium chloride and H2O uh, is water, hydrogen and oxygen. Um, and uh, what that ultimately makes is a solution of, um, of iron chloride, or FeCl. Um, so when so when we put the salt into the water, the salt starts to do what we call disassociation, and that means that when the salt is introduced into the water, it begins to form ions, and ions are individual atoms floating in a solution that have a charge to them, and the ions are basically made out of the salt um, at the salt molecule. The salt molecule disassociates into ions in water. Water is actually a solvent. Um, well, it's like the universal solvent in, on Earth, so um, that's why it's so important in astronomy uh, for finding life on other planets. So um, basically the ions we're um, left with are the sodium atom, which is positively charged, and the chlor chlorine atom, um, which is negatively charged. And um, the iron is attracted to the chlorine atom because iron has a positive charge in this galvanic uh, setup and the chlor chlorine uh, has a negative uh, atomic charge and those bind together uh, and form a iron chloride uh, atom so uh, or molecule sorry and and uh and basically, that's what creates the um, the uh, solution that you will see that turns orange, basically. So, um, and then uh, eventually coats the uh, copper ring with the uh, shiny metal. So, um, so yeah, that's the process basically that's going on uh, uh, chemically speaking. So, um, and also you might notice that there's a bubbling that takes place. Uh, this especially occurs when you have high voltages on the on the um, electrodes, um, and that's actually gas being released uh, into the uh, atmosphere. And in this case, the um, positive uh, electrode releases oxygen because that is a negative charge. It attracts oxygen to it, and it breaks apart the, or actually the both of them break apart the. Um, the water molecules, which consist of hydrogen and oxygen, and um, the the oxygen is released at the positive um, electrode because it has a negative charge, and the hydrogen is released at the negative electrode because it has a positive charge. So um, that's just the um, it's called uh, hydrolysis, or yeah, um, because. Because it's uh, releasing the hydrogen uh, and the oxygen, uh, and yeah, so, um, so, 
Um, so yeah, that's that's the chemical process that we're going to be using uh, for the um, galvanic reaction and to coat our uh, copper cathode ring. And um, then later on, um, we're going to have to neutralize the solution uh, to dispose of it uh, when we're done with the process. And um, and just to note, the uh, the the uh, iron chloride is poisonous. Um, it's it's um it's actually used as an etching solution in in some instances, and um, it can be it's it, it, you shouldn't drink it, and you shouldn't be um, uh, shouldn't uh, expose it to your bare skin, um, like with your hands or and um, yeah, and you shouldn't drink it, and you shouldn't um, be in an enclosed space with it. You should always have good ventilation. Um, and to neutralize it, we're going to use baking soda. So we're going to pour baking soda in. It's going to bubble and fizz. And uh, this is going to release carbon dioxide and uh, chlorine gas, which we need to ventilate because chlorine gas is also poisonous or toxic. Um, and we're going to be left with a uh, bubbly solution of... Um, iron carbonate, and iron carbonate is uh, practically, um, well, it's relatively safe. It's not a toxic waste. So then we can pour it down the drain or in our yard, um, and uh, all will be well. So uh, that's the process from the beginning to the end, and uh, that covers most of the chemistry uh, that is involved. So uh, so there's your primer on um how to use salt water as an electrolyte to plate a copper ring with iron. Thanks. And so we'll go on to the uh, to the live demonstration after this.